Yesterday I received my bare root fruit trees from Leg Creek Farms in Douglas, Texas. That's in East Texas. These trees shipped, I think, Thursday, and I received them Tuesday afternoon. It's now Wednesday morning. Looking at the roots, I can see they came out of some sandy soil. My soil is not sandy like that at all, so hopefully these adapt well. I got all of my bare root fruit trees in the ground. Ended up being 17 total. It took me about, I don't know, two and a half hours to plant them all. Uh, this one is a black Spanish grape. It's going to be climbing this cattle panel trellis. This one is a Champanel grape. This one, it's pretty tiny, is a American persimmon. It's only maybe 20 inches tall. Looks like a stick. On my swell berm here, I've got six fruit trees. This is a Loren peach. Morris plum. A sentinel peach. Another Loring peach. Morris Plum, Sentinel Peach. I'm hoping I don't have to have two different varieties of plums to get those to produce fruit. Here I've got a Arapaho Blackberry. Nachez Blackberry. And another Arapaho Blackberry. Three blackberry bushes, all thornless, all going to be climbing the cattle panel. Here I've got a Texas ever bearing fig, and it's just on the back side of the second swell. This swell berm here, it has a lot of uh, mesquite logs in there, and I didn't think I was going to be able to plant that directly on, on there. Uh, just wasn't enough space, so I opted to plant on the back side of the berm. A Chickasaw plum. It's supposed to be kind of a wild plum. It doesn't really grow in West Texas. It does grow in East Texas, though, so I'm hoping it'll work over here. And then I've got a second Chickasaw plum. Got my chicks there. Buttercup, sunshine, and koala. Here I've got a, I know I'm going to pronounce this incorrectly, an Allegheny chinkapin. It's kind of a chestnut tree. And I don't think it grows here, but uh, it was only like nine bucks, so nine dollar experiment isn't too too bad uh, even though it is just a stick but this is also one of those chica pen trees but that's everything I planted so we'll see in the spring if everything leaves out and how it does with the wood chip mulch and um, I will continue to keep you posted with videos as the weather warms up some more